Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you about group convert. What is it? A lot of people ask me, what the heck is group convert? Like, I don't get it. And so, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what it does. Let's have a very kind of like 10,000 foot level look at it, even though it doesn't have to be 10,000. But let's take a step back and look at it on a big picture scale. So you're gonna have your Facebook and what it does is it will take the data from Facebook and it'll import it to a Google Sheet. And from there that data will use Zapier which is um, Zapier connects a lot of softwares together so Zapier will actually pull the data from Google Sheet into your email autoresponder. And I didn't have enough room to write responder, but you get what I mean. And this all is from a Chrome, Google Chrome extension, so it sits on your browser. Got it? Cool, let's move on. So, I mean, let's say that you have a Facebook profile, right? This is my drawing of a Facebook profile. <laughs> I'm such an artist. Um, okay, so there you go. Profile, you have a wall. And usually you can have a link to whatever, your social accounts. You're gonna put your link to your group there. And then above it, you can have one feature picture or many, but the feature picture will say, hey, click to that link. And so, from your profile, you're going to have people clicking on it. When they click on it, they have to answer three questions. I don't know why Facebook limits it to three, but three questions. And these are the three questions I usually ask for my group. What do you want to learn? You promise not to spam? And here, enter your email for a free blank. For you, it can be a free funnel, a free course, a free PDF, whatever thing you want to give to your audience and I'm going to have a persona his name is Curious Chris. Curious Chris will answer these questions. Marketing, he promises not to spam and that's his email. That's not really his email. Please guys don't go and spam Chris. There's Curious Chris. Alright on the other hand, on the other side there's going to be an admin person of the group. Now because I'm female, I'm going to have the persona be female. Um, so the admin person in this scenario is going to be called Admin Anna. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> um, she's going to go into a group she sees three people are waiting to join. And she's going to click on that within her Facebook group. So it will take her to another dashboard, her group dashboard, and she'll have a button that lets her approve everyone, or she can selectively filter out and approve those who only answered questions. Now in this scenario, she's going to approve all because she's feeling an, a little bit extra friendly, a little bit extra giving. She wants to approve everyone, and usually there's a Google Sheet link URL that you're going to put in there. I will explain that later, but it's in there. It's part of the dashboard. And yes, it's part of your Facebook group. So, sorry about that. Sometimes, you know. Okay, so there's Admin Anna. And she's looking at her group Google Chrome browser. She clicks on a little G at the very top corner, which is group convert, and she's going to click view data. So let's, so she's looking at her Facebook group, she's going to the little G, she clicks on it, she clicks view data, and now she's taken to another tab. In this tab, Chris's information will be part of the dashboard. This is a group convert dashboard. There's going to be this green button that says push to Google Sheet. Admin Anna, there's Admin Anna. She needs to take better care of herself. Her hair is kind of thinning. She's gonna click on that and then
This is my attempt of drawing Google Sheets, okay? <laughs> so when she clicks on push a Google Sheet, Chris's data, curious Chris's data will be imported into the Google Sheet. Now admin Anna is going to set this automation up with Zapier or Zapier. Zapier makes you happier. I think they pronounce it Zapier. She's going to run a zap and what a zap does is it basically pulls information from one source to the other. So you can zap from a Google Sheet to your email autoresponder. Here I actually have room to write autoresponder so that's what I did. So from the name to the name, from the email to the email, you're like mapping the data over and it's really simple. Zapier makes it really easy to do. Now she's going to log into, and this is a one time thing. She sets that up once. That's good to go. This is one time. After she sets up Zapier, it should go every single 15 minutes or however frequent she wants it. But now she's in her auto email autoresponder. And within the email autoresponder, I want you to know that you can use whichever one Zapier is, uh, can integrate with. And Zapier, since they've been around for a long time, they can integrate with and get information from your sheet to MailChimp, to ActiveCampaign. That's my horrible <laughs> uh, ActiveCampaign logo. Um, yep. I mean, and here I'm trying to, yeah, let's try to have ConvertKit represent. So, whatever one you have, Zapier will be able to work with it. Now, here's the, here is the question, like, why are you doing this? Why are you getting from Facebook to Google to Zapier to the email? Seems complicated. Why are we even doing this? The reason is because... Admin Anna wants to talk to Curious Chris on more than just a hey how are you doing level she wants Curious Chris to be part of her world and to do that she wants to send him into an email sequence now he might not buy day one but he might buy something that she's offering in day three or maybe not day three but maybe day 22 or whatever amount of days because Curious Chris needs to get to know Admin Anna a little bit more to trust her. So, if you're like Admin Anna and you want to grow your list with Group Convert and you don't want to leave money on the table, and so what Group Convert will help you with is get free leads. The leads are organic, they're people who enter into your funnel from your Facebook profile and you're building your tribe. So you're building it one Facebook friend slash follower at a time. It, it could be super fast. I've seen groups blow up like crazy and it could be slow and steady. But either way, Admin Anna and Curious Chris are now best friends <laughs> uh, I added that little part because it may look silly but I wanted to make this really friendly and happy so yeah I hope that this explains it for you guys and this is my handle all right thanks <laughs>